Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you some yard art I built. I don't know why, I just enjoy it. Um, I'm going to show you real quick how to make a uh, dragonfly. Um, pretty cool out of a spark plug is all you need. Lug nut off a truck or a car. It's uh, This is metric, this is American 916 fine thread, but you know it kind of screws on there. Um, run your in with an air gun then it won't come off. I uh, you can tap it out. It's like 14 by 1.25, but I don't know. Um, that tap I had, it, it wore out, so I just jam them on their forks. So I'll show you what I do. I have a little pattern here. I cut it out with my plasma cutter. Usually find some old metal laying around, and 55 gallon drums work good too, the tops. So, and then I drill a hole in it. So I just stick this on there like that then I can screw this screw this on this one goes easy because I did tap it but if you don't have it you know and then you kind of have the wings my wife had a bunch she does card making crafting and had a bunch of these little stick on rhinestones I don't know what they are little crystals I use them for eyeballs so I line this up put an eyeball on each side bend this up and then that's where the, I just had some old fishing leaders. And I actually think I bought these little rings. Put a little ring in there and a fishing leader, and then you can hang it, suspend it. And then these are uh, lags for like hanging ceiling or something. Put one of them on the end. Screw the back on. I usually lock tight them. Seems to hold a little better. And there you go. I'll show you a finished product, you know, all finished up and metal, kind of polished. But pretty simple, huh? All right, well, here's the rest of the video. I don't know if you don't like this stuff, tune out. But if you do, it's kind of give you some ideas, maybe stuff you have and want to use up. And just my way of giving back to YouTube, you know, I get a lot of info from here. Thanks. So this is my version of American Gothic, that famous painting they did, you know, Mon Pa Kettle or whoever standing there with the pitchfork. This is uh, Mon Pa Metal, the Alaskan Gothic. My owl project started with a Freon tank. One thing led to another, turned into an owl. Got a little top of a tricone bit here. Worked out pretty good. And then I got into bees. Made some spark bees. A bunch of little ones. Had to have a beehive. Had to put them somewhere, so I made this tree. Made a couple little owls. Those are uh, the hive there, and the other owls made out of a Freon tanks. And these are these green uh, propane jugs. I drain them, drill a hole, fill them with water, and then I cut them. Make sure they're safe. Even got a little burl on it. Mountain ash with some berries. The bottom ones are ball bearings. The top are actually real ones off the tree. <laughs> so I'm working on a lily flower. I just cut a bunch of petals and kind of made them elongated. Just rolling them in. What I use is a 55 gallon drum lid. It's pretty thin, you know, the new ones. This little uh, 
smoke evacuator I made is this is the old school barrels this stuff's thick it's not 10 gauge but it's pretty thick I don't know what it is and I got a little fan on it blows it outside makes it nice no smoke I got enough of that with my wood stove Little ladybug down there. Mushrooms. A uh, little caterpillar crawling up the side. And then we had to make a spider. Eight legs and eight eyes, I looked. That's how many it's got. It's kind of fun. This is my October project, so I'm kind of done with that now being as it's November. <laughs> I uh, This one come out a little angry. He's trying to do a pike and I guess I got a little carried away with the teeth. Maybe I'll call it the danger down below or something. That little dragonfly up there. Flowers, frogs fish. It's even got a snake. So I thought it was important to show you this. Um, these cattails, this is an old uh, trampoline springs. I found them. Some scumbag dumped them on the power line. I picked them up and recycled everything else and took it to the dump. Well, these springs I saved. I just put a rebar through here, but then I cut it. So like if the kids fall on it or something, it uh, swings around. I just thought it was a little better. I had it through solid first. It kind of scared me. It looked like a spear, you know. I think it helped. Did a couple of these. This one's a just kind of garden, iron garden. So I made a couple woodpeckers. Um, you know, a cutter off of one of the old sickle mowers. I think that's the knife. I don't know the terminology. Been away from the farm so long I don't remember. You know, saw blades and then whatever hand tools. It's kind of hard to find hand tools, you know. I don't go to many places that have them and then the good ones you kind of use them up. And uh, it's kind of fun. I made another one that's on a neighbor's fence. I'll show you that later. These are on these post is a zip line I have for my pond you know I do grandkids so try and keep them all happy and uh, dragonfly I made a little bit ago he found a place to land up there yeah these video clips I'm kind of just pocketing putting them all together it's on starting to get water on it it's a breakup we call springtime breakup and uh, here in two weeks, this will all be gone, maybe except some of the big piles. And, uh, everybody's usually ready for it. I'm, I'm happy with every season. Some of my fence art on my neighbor's fence. That's a time and chain and gears. Made into a uh, seahorse, pliers, horseshoes. Those are pretty simple to do. Just gotta find the pliers. Another one of them little owls. That was the first one I did. I ended up cutting it down. I didn't like it. That's kind of how it ended up. My neighbor put up this fence, so I've been hanging stuff on it. <laughs> I'll show you Kilroy. He's, he's looking over the thing in a minute. So there's a bee. Kind of cool little one.
I don't know what's hanging underneath them. Oh, that's a grease fitting. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, I don't know why that's there. Just something. Something I thought it needed. Kind of neat. Another woodpecker. I made three of them. I had three of those teeth. And that's all the same saw blade. Kilroy. Kilroy was here. Nobody seems to remember that anymore, but I do. It's kind of cool. I like it. <laughs> of course, I say that about everything.